Many of us have probably, you know, seen the old Star Trek movies where they're trying to figure out some, you know, new disease on some foreign planet, right? And uh, they have a little tricorder and they put a little sample in and what they get is the three-dimensional structure of the molecules coming out of that, right? So that's obviously been science fiction uh, for many, many years. But we think we can actually make that a reality. My name is David Agard. I'm a uh, professor of biophysics and biochemistry at UCSF and a Howard Hughes investigator. Uh, my main interests are understanding the molecular machinery inside of cells and how that works. In biology, uh, the structure of a molecule determines its function. And so uh, the best way to really understand that function is to figure out the structure of the molecule and essentially where all the atoms are. In the past, we've just been limited to very low resolution, very blurry pictures of, well, there's a blob there. But we haven't ha re had any kind of molecular understanding of how these biological machines are really functioning. The main goal of the NSF grant was to develop new technology for electron microscopic imaging. Uh, and specifically develop a new class of cameras that will leap beyond anything that's available today. This is a joint effort between UCSF, my institution, a uh, laboratory at the Lawrence Berkeley National Labs, one of the uh, premier national labs uh, located in uh, Berkeley, California, and GATAN Incorporated, who is a company that specializes in making cameras for electron microscopes. And so by bringing all these groups together, we were able to do something that you know, none of them could do uh, by themselves. Immediately as part of the project, you know, just what's been funded you know, through the grant has uh, required hiring people uh, at um, LBNL as well as the Catan uh, to really develop these technologies. So, uh, postdoctoral uh, fellows, scientists, engineers uh, at these locations. Uh, the end result of this will be a commercialized camera. And so that will empower many other scientists around the world to be able to collect much more data um, uh, much more quickly. And that will lead to you know, hiring of students and postdocs um, as well. The other thing is, is that this technology, if we can really push it the way we think should be possible, uh, should also have direct application in the uh, pharmaceutical industry for drug discovery. And so that too will be empowering to allow kind of rational analysis of uh, very complicated systems that have not been possible to analyze in a, in a rational way before.